So I've been studying, and I just did this video before, but my throat is really dry. So I grabbed this, and uh, what this video is going to be, it's going to be an overview of my Arrow Blu-rays. Uh, I was just watching Falgar's uh, 517's video, Sammy's video on, it was episode 281, Mania Cop Review, and I love Mania Cop. I don't have that edition of Mania Cop, I do have uh, the Snaps edition, and I do have the Arrow Drum DVD edition as well. I want to get the Arrow edition, also I'm a big, big fan of the film. <clears throat> Second one I like too. Third one, big pumps with third one. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> anyway, I'll start with my Arrow Blu-rays. In the next video, I'm going to do a Arrow DVD. So hopefully, I'll get these both up tonight before I go back studying. In between studying, at least. Apologize if I got to clear my throat. It's a little bit of dry here tonight. So first off, I'm going to go through my uh, gentle ones. <clears throat> and I have Inferno, which is incredible. It has the uh, Dario Gentle <coughs> and I for Horror, which is a great hour long documentary on his uh, basically his career up to that point, up to the point of I think uh, Phenomena or so. I have his first film, The Bird of Crystal Plumage. Uh, recently got this one, I haven't got a ch chance to check this one out yet, but I, uh, I did watch a couple of features on here. Incredible stuff. Of course, the most known uh, gentle film of all time, aside from Suspiria, is Deep Red. Uh, very creepy cover. Uh, very jello esque I uh, just love this movie. It gave me nightmares as a kid. The uh, doll scene in uh, Deep Red is also uh, where they got the idea. That where James Wan got the idea for the doll from, uh, from the movie Saw, by the way. Phenomenon is a very cool, very uh, personal Ar Argento film. Argento was scared in the theaters when he was a child by uh, many of the Disney films. Like, actually, many of the people were. Disney has some pretty warped and twisted stuff. If you watch Phenomena, if you've seen it before, it's actually the cut version of what's called Creepers here in North America. But try to get the Phenomena edition and look when you're watching the movie. Remember the Disney movies you saw and look for the allusions to uh, some classic Disney films. Next up is another Argento film. And was Carl Malden this was in this one, and that's Cat of Nine Tails. Uh, it refers to neither a cat nor a whip, but the uh, actually refers to the suspects that they're following to uh, catch the killer. Uh, kind of a giveaway here at the end, <coughs> the ending, with uh, this one, but such a fantastic film. I love this. Next two up are Arrow Academy releases. I love Arrow Academy. They're kind of like a criterion for uh, the Arrow Company. And the first one up is uh, Jules Dassin's... Fantastic Heist film, or Fifi. Uh, if you've not seen this film, I strongly recommend it. It is an incredible film. Next up is one that I keep changing the cover on. <laughs> because I like all the covers of this one. And it's Spirits of the Dead. And Spirits of the Dead is, of course, uh, <coughs> the classic uh, Adrian and Paul anthology done by the uh, three directors, I think, Fellini, L Ma Mal, and Fatima. Some great actors now, by the way. Next up is one I got from Sammy, and uh, it was a big surprise, and one I really love. It's one of my favorites. And that's House by the Cemetery. I really, really love this this movie, and uh, this edition is the ultimate edition for me. It's incredible. So when the sale went on, I had to get another full sheet that I didn't have, because it's always been like 45, 50 bucks around here to buy the other. I think it's the Blue Underground special edition release. Uh, so I picked up the Arrow release of Zombie Flesh Eaters and could not be happier. Uh, two disc edition, just a fantastic film. I uh, love this film, Shark Zombie Sequence. What else can you ask for? It's pretty cool. And uh, next up is one that I did review on here. And if you haven't seen the review, I uh, recommend that you check it out because it's uh, some pretty cool stuff. And it's Foxy Brown. Uh, Foxy Brown is a really kick ass uh, black exploitation movie starring the always gorgeous Pam Greer love this movie uh, this started my action midnight theater uh, segments that I have to follow up on and I promise I will next up is a movie that I <clears throat> truly enjoy and uh, hmm, it is Vamp I wanted to see a couple of different colors for this one that's the new artwork I kind of dig this one right here it's just kind of a collage type thing and uh it's just such a fantastic film. Very funny. 
What I really love about this one, though, there is a uh, little short film on here called Dracula Bites the Big Apple. Extremely cool. That's kind of extra quality stuff that you could expect on uh, Arrow releases. They're really well done with stuff like that. Next up is another one. Haven't got a chance to check out yet. I got it for my birthday. I was super stoked to get it. It's a Joseph Zito film. And it's not a horror. It's actually an action movie with Dolph Lundgren. And that is Red Scorpion. I don't remember this film very well. But I'm really, really looking forward to checking it out and reviewing it for you guys in my action midnight theater segment of my channel. A classic, one that I love, one that I show off. And uh, there is a, a steelbook for this, but I kind of just dug this edition because you could get a couple of different uh, artworks for it. And that's uh, Big Trouble in Old China. Sometimes I go for the steelbook, sometimes I don't because I like the reversible artwork as well. And uh, I'm starting to lean away from Digi and Steel and get back more to the, uh, this here. I love these new clear cases. This I'm really excited about. Uh, it has, I think it's three audio versions of the film, an extra film on it. Uh, <clears throat> that is Black Sunday. I strongly recommend this one. Uh, it's a great release. It is, I think, three, two or three discs. Three discs. And it has uh, Ivan Pierre, a movie directed, well, started to be directed by Ricardo Fridi. It was the first uh, Italian horror film. Uh, Rick Fridi walked out, and uh, Mary Baba had to take over the direction of the film. Definitely worth checking out. Uh, just some, some really cool stuff on this. And uh, seriously, this is one, if you're going to get an arrow film, strongly recommend this release. I recommend all the Baba releases. Speaking of ever releases, I also have A Bay of Blood, which is another really cool one. This cover is kind of a unique, looks different. Uh, there's some cool features on here. I haven't really got to check this one out yet. I uh, do love uh, A Bay of Blood, and I wanted to have all the Babas. I'm going to get all the Babas on the Arrow video. And uh, who knows, I, one of these days I may try to either get some stuff done up or try to get a trade with somebody from England and... Uh, Get some more Babber releases. I really want Black Sabbath on Blu ray and uh, Baron Blood. Next up is uh, James Glickenhaus classic action film, and everybody should have this one in their collection. And with this cover, it's fantastic. It's The Exterminator. Just a, an incredibly fun, cheesy action film. I love it. It's fantastic. Next up is another Arrow Academy release, and that will be the 25th anniversary edition of Cinema Paradiso. A beautiful, wonderful, fantastic film. If you love cinema, <clears throat> you owe it to yourself to check out Cinema Paradiso. It is a great film. This release is amazing. It has both cuts of it. You have the, night one, the original theatrical cut at 124 minutes and the 174 minute uh, director's cut as well. Just a beautiful film. Uh, just let yourself get caught up in the world of Cinema Paradiso. You will not regret it. And it, you will f come back to the world again. Next up is one that everybody lately is picking up, and that's because it's a fantastic release, one of my top releases. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, limited edition. If you don't have it, pick it up. I cannot stress how big of a release this is. Uh, the sale went on, and a lot of people went and grabbed this one right away. I was surprised some people didn't. I was kind of worried that I wasn't going to get it because I thought this would be the one that would sell it fastest. Next up is uh, one of the, is the rest of our... I'll do this one next. Arrow Films, because uh, they have a films release for documentaries and newer stuff, and that's uh, Ray Harryhausen, Special Effects Titan. This is an amazing documentary. <clears throat> if you like film, if you love film, you must own this documentary. Um, no word of lie, this is a fantastic documentary. And now I'm going to do my Arrow Steelbooks. I only got a couple, so this won't take long. I have Time Bandits, and uh, I love the look of this movie. It's a Terry Gillum film. It's very trippy, so it's not for everybody. And, uh, here's a booklet that you can kind of see. If you've seen the movie, you know what that's all about. Uh, I think David Warner's the, the evil in this. And we have uh, John Cleese, Sean Connery, I think. 
Uh, just a, a load of people in this one here. The Michael Powell and Brad Benton's in this. Uh, and it's a beautiful steel book. <clears throat> Next up is Demons and Demons 2. It's a steel book double, double Blu ray set. It has both Demons and Demons 2 on Blu ray here. And uh, Snaps put these out. And I love Snaps. No word, I love Snaps, but they put out their Blu rays for Arrow, so for, for Demons, Demons 2 on separate Steelbook editions, costing about 60 bucks each, which is less, I paid less than half of that for these here, and these are fantastic editions of both these films that I can strongly and highly recommend. And uh, I know that the uh, Synapse Steelbooks are pretty good looking and they're shiny and stuff like that, but uh, for kind of really cool, more indie art, with a little bit more depth to it, uh, go for these. Save yourself some money and get two fantastic films for the price of one. And uh, last but not least, one of my faves, Life Force. I just love this movie, and uh, the features on this one are incredible. Uh, it's a two disc set, and uh, I don't have the time right now to take the, uh, show you the art, but some other time I'll just go through these steel books on their own and just show you the inside art and everything. It's fantastic. Uh, it's a gorgeous steel book. I really, really love it. And uh, with that, I'm done with my Arrow Blu rays. So next up is my Arrow DVDs, which I will do in between studying. So uh, thanks for watching, and since my throat is really going, I guess you can tell from clearing my throat, and I apologize for that. Uh, right now, for me, it's uh, time for tea.